Okay, so now what I'd like to do is to work on our sidewalk. This one over here. So first I'd like to separate it from the rest because we're going to be creating some geometry details over here. So let me first hit B, separate selection. All right, I'd like to operate on it separately from the rest just so that we aren't going to be confused. Also, let me enable my screencast keys. All right, so G to move like this and I'm going to select just these two, our sidewalk and our camera and hit Control E. Select everything else and hit H to hide everything else. All I want to do is to just focus on our sidewalk. Also go to object, set origin, origin to geometry. So my first step that I'd like to do, let me switch to solid, is to make this edge over here rounded. So let's add over here that bevel modifier, like this also make sure that the scale is fine. So it's set to 1.895. So control A and let's apply that scale. And I'm going to increase that segments to 3. And what I'd like to do is to reduce this one. Let's reduce to 1 tenth, something like this. Right click and sheet smooth. So let's go back to our camera perspective. We hit 0 and I would like to separate our sidewalk from our pavements. So hit Z to switch to the wireframe. Control R vertically. Let me go back like this and let's stick it to the side. So this one's going to be for our sidewalk. So for this one over here, I'd like to also to separate it. Or before doing that, let's extrude it down a little bit i'd like to have some uh, tiny edge over here and after that hit b separate selection okay so for the rest of these faces i would like to delete them x delete so now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to do this so scale x point two so you can see over here in our uh, reference that we're having some segments or fragments of our uh, sidewalk so i would like to replicate that you can see this cut over here so i'd like to do that so i'm going to take this one and put it over here to the side also let's enable our uh, snap tool and let's snap it right over there and after that what i'd like to do is to add i'd like to add the array modifier to it so from here let's add that array and it's going to be five times because we divide our uh, initial shape by five so there we go so we're having it next thing to do is to extrude it up so let's select everything hit e and go up there we go so we created our fragments also, if you want to fix the shadow problem that we're having over here, you can uh, insert two edge loops, Control R and insert two, and scale X and bring them to the side, to these edges like this. And that problem is going to be solved. Okay, so now let's create our material. So first, I would like to add a new material from here. It's going to be, let's call it sidewalk. Sidewalk material, like this. So let's work on it. First, I'd like to start with the most graph texture. Shift A, search for a most graph. So basically, I would like to experiment with different kind of uh, notes or uh, textures in our scene. So Shift A, search for a noise texture. Let's connect the color to the vector and the factor over here. Also, on the edit mode, select this unit and let's apply to it our sidewalk. So hit Z and switch to the material preview. Also over here, let me enable my screencast keys. All right, so now what I would like to do is to take first the details to 16 and over here I'd like to set this one to just 0.9. Okay, cool. Okay, so this texture that we just created, it's gonna be serving for our water bubbles. So we can do this, shift A, search for a car ramp. Let me put it on top of that, just so that we can control these bubbles. So from here we can take this one to the side or do the opposite. So basically if you do the opposite, we're gonna be having too much water bubbles. But what I'd like to do is to have the opposite. Let me try to invert these. Take this one to the side. There we go. Something like this. So basically these black spots are going to be our uh, our puddles. So we don't need to have too much of these puddles. Good. Okay, so the next step that I'd like to do is uh, to use this one as our roughness. I'm gonna take it to the roughness. So basically the black spots are going to be uh, glossy. You can see them over here. So let's do the same thing for our normal map. So shift A, search for a bump node, put it on the bottom and let's connect. Can be connecting this one to the height. You can see that over here, connecting it to the height and the normal to the normal. All right, but you can see that we're having some crazy high bumps. So I'd like to reduce it from here to just 0.25. Cool. So my next step that I would like to do is to add some surface noise over here. So let's do this, but also I don't want to it looks too much damage. Our sidewalk looks too much damage. So let's go back over here to our uh, to this car ramp and let's try to play with it a little bit. What's gonna happen if we bring these close to each another? Also for the scale, yeah, I think we need to reduce this scale over here of our uh, 
of these bottles. So something like 2.5 is gonna be fine. We can always do this, hit zero and go back and check, check our camera perspective. I think, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, we can proceed with this one. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so what I'd like to do right now is to add some surface noise to this location over here. So shift A, let's bring a mix RGB and connect it with some noise. So this mix RGB, let's put it on top of that. Shift A again, and let's search for uh, noise. Noise texture, let's connect it to the bottom. Color to the color number two. And let's see what we got. Okay, we are having some back noise. I can see it over here. Let me increase the detail to 16. Fine. Also, we can, uh, let's play with this one. For example, let's switch it to the multiplier and let's see. We're not able to see much because this color ramp doesn't reflect our new material. So let's connect this one instead. And let's see our noise. Also over here, let me take this factor to one. All right, so now we, have, we can see our bumps, our noise. But we need to do this and so, so that we can change these colors. So shift A, put a color ramp. Oops, not vertex color, but color ramp. Let's put it on top of that so that we can change these colors. There we go, so now we're having some noisy details. Let me increase that scale, increase it to 15, and there we go. So basically we're having that surface noise on that, I think. 10 is gonna be fine, yeah. Okay, so now let's uh, connect this one. I would like to connect it to our roughness. And let's work on our base color. So again, let's bring our savior, which is the color ramp. Put it on top of this, and let's switch or change the colors of it. So basically I would like to make two colors. I'd like to make some uh, uh, gray color, this one over here, and the second color I would like to make some bluish, oops, this kind of, just a tiny blue, but very dark. Nice. For this one, I think, yeah, let's make it even darker. Good. But for the noise, yeah, as you can see, we're having a, a noisy surface. So let's set, for example, to just point 0.1. Let's see if this is going to be making it better. Yeah, I think it looks better now. Yeah, let's hit zero and go back and check it based on our scene. I think we're having a match. We created something that looks pretty much close to our reference. All right, so our next step is going to be to do the same thing for this uh, for this sidewalk. So I'm going to just remove these materials and let's create or let's add the sidewalk. You can search for it over here. Sidewalk, you can see that we have some distortion over here so we can... Uh, on the edit mode, select everything, hit U, Q projection. But actually, we're not able to do that because we forgot to use our UVs over here. So, control space and let's use our UVs. So, shift A, search for UV map, this one, and let's connect it for our vectors. So, connect it for the first vector over here and connect it to the next vector for our noise. Yeah, so I think that's it. So, control space, let's go back and let's see. Alright, but as you can see, the problem that we're having is this repetitive patterns that we're having over here. So before doing that, I would like to uh, apply this array modifier, like this. On the edit mode, you can hit 7 and hit U and choose this project from view, project from view, like this. So now if we scale this uh, texture over here, our material is going to be affected like this. So let's increase it to something like this. Also, I'd like to GUI. Take it to the side like this. Cool. So let's do the same thing for our sidewalk. So I'm going to select my sidewalk. Hit U. Yeah, I think we already did that. So Q projection. So you can scale it if you want. Scale it up. Let's scale it by 2. Cool. So basically that's it. So this is our sidewalk. Let me bring back all the components of our scene. And let's see. Yeah, it looks really good. Alright, so this is our sidewalk.